Hi everyone. So, well, since we have just talked about physics, we will rush really fast about your chemistry section that we have seen. And again, I'll talk about your set C. So, let's see. I'll do the analysis well regarding that. But before that, let's just see like what you have done and what are the answers for your questions. So, if I directly start with your set C. All right, well, one thing that I'll say that, you know, both your 11th and the 12th, they have been covered almost equally for your this year's question paper. Well, that's what I have analyzed. And another thing that we have seen is that if I say on the basis of your question paper, well, the physical chemistry section that has covered up like 12 questions for you and your inorganic 9 question and the organic section that has covered up like only 9 questions. So I'll say the most of your part that has been covered up for your physical chemistry section. So it was pretty important this time. And if I say that on the basis of analysis that I have done for your question paper, I have seen that, you know, most of the questions, they have been covered up from your ionic equilibrium and the chemical equilibrium. The two important topics, if I talk about them, you know, GOC and equilibrium, the two most important topics and taken up most of the questions from your exam. So if I talk about your set C, well, for the first question, well, no, one thing, don't be confused because I'm talking about the set C. So don't worry if the set is not common. So let's just match up for the set C. The first question, well, the answer for your first question, that would be your option number A. Well, right now, I'll just talk to you only about the answer key and not the detailed solutions that we will be doing in some time. So for now, just check up your solutions and what you have done in your exam. All right. So if I talk about your question number two, that was, I'll say that was a basic question from a practical organic, a theoretical question that they have taken up. And the answer for your question two is your B, option number B. That's what it says. Or if I say for your even, the I'm really sorry for the question that says, All right, so if I talk about the third question of your set C that has been taken up for, from your question of acid and base. And the answer for your question number three, that would be option number C. Next question, if I talk about the question number four that has been from your organic section, right? And the chapter which they have taken up into your question is from your alcohol, phenols and ethers. That is the unit that they have taken up. And the answer for your this question, that would be your option number D. Well, you know, students, I'll say one thing. Do not completely rely on what I'm writing because I have done the questions and this is what I have filled. And these are the answers according to what I have done. Well, maybe some of the answers that could be a little bit different or maybe I have not read them properly. So by now, I'll just say like these are the answers. Question number five that they have taken up, that is from your titrations question. Again, a conceptual question that I'll say. And the answer for your question number five, that would be your option number B. Then your sixth question. Again, as I said, that ionic equilibrium that has been covered up. Uh, you know, as I said in the beginning that your ionic equilibrium section, they have covered up the most of it. So again, the question number six, they have taken up from your ionic equilibrium and the answer that would be your option number first. Or I'll say the option number A. Well, you know, let me just write it as this is first, first, third, fourth, and second. Well, so that you don't get confused because in the question paper they have been given as your first second third and fourth so as i said that a question number six your answer that would be option number a all right 
So the next question, if I talk about the only question that we have seen from your thermodynamics, or I'll say that, you know, as I said, even in my previous video, when I was talking about the analysis, as I said, that thermochemistry, that has become a really important topic. And again, the question that was from your thermochemistry section. So the answer for your question number seven, that is your option number C. Then if I talk about the next question, question number 8, well that is from your P block element and again a concept based question it was and the answer that goes for your question number 8 that would be the third option. Then the ninth question, well you know this was pretty much which was not expected that the electrochemistry section that has taken up only one question and this is the question well as per my set because I am talking about set C. So into which the question number 9 which was your uh, electrochemistry section so that would go with the answer number 2. Well we would be talking about the detailed solutions. Don't worry about that. That we would head towards it in some time. But for now, let's just keep checking what we have done in our exam. The next question that is my question number 10. That was from my chemical bonding part. And again, a theoretical question. You know, based on your simple hybridization part that it had. And the answer for this one, that was... Your question, answer the option that would be your option B. All right. So then, if I talk about the question number eleven into your set C. All right. So that is the question from your surface chemistry that they have taken up. And well, for this one, I'll say because they have gone into the depth of the question, not a superficial question that they have asked. So for this one, the answer that it says is. Option number two. Well, as per what I have done, according to me, the answer that would be your option number B. Then if I talk about your question number 12, again, a question, as I always say, into inorganic, your chemical bonding part, which is like pretty important part. So again, a direct question into that, that would be your answer number, or I'll say the option number C. All right. So as we were talking about your questions, we have talked till the question number 12 then as I was saying that for your question number 13 that is your question from the chapter amines that it says and again I'll say that you know they have mixed up the concept of your amines as well as the concept of your GOC into it. So I won't say that this was a pretty direct question or you know directly a conceptual question so I'll say a good question that they have made up and that was mixed on both your concepts. And the answer for your question number 13, that would be your option number B. Or I'll just say that the answer, option second. Then about your question number 14. Well, your question number 14 from your question paper, that is from your solid state. And I will say the most easiest question from your chemistry section that they have taken up. And really a direct question even if you know you have studied the two lines of this topic you would have been able to do this question so the answer i know everyone would have done it correct so the answer for your question number 14 that would be my option number two then my 15th question all right now the question number 15 that was from my chemical bonding from the very basics of chemical bonding, if I say, you know, that comes into the very initial where they talk about the different types of bonds. So a really direct question, I'll say, but you know, the options that they have given, they were there to just confuse you. If you have the clarity of the basic concepts, you could have done it really easily. So the question number 15, well, the answer that would be again my option number two. Then talking about the question number 16, the question number 16 that was from a coordination chemistry, right? And again, I'll say it was just a direct question where they are talking about your oxidation states that you do, you know, in the initial when we talk about the IUPAC naming and all. Well, again, for this question, the correct option that would be your option number two. Three questions with option number two, right? Then I have a question number 17. All right. Well, now a question that I see from my redox. Again, if I read the question, I'll say 
that not much into the depth well you know of the overall paper that i have seen for this year i have seen that the examiner that has tried to just touch the topics you know just on the basis of even for some of your concepts if you would have done the superficial study you would be easily be able to clear your j mains exam so regarding your question number 17 that as i said that is from your redox the correct option for this one that would be my option number 2 Again, a second option, right? Then I have my question number eighteen. All right, uh, a section that I say that you know we don't expect much. The questions we do not expect much, but in the last two or three years, even this has been seen that they are trying to pick up questions from a bio molecule section. And as I said that to you earlier as well, because that was just a cramming part. So. about your question number 18 the correct option that even comes into your direct reactions you would have done this question so the answer for this one that would be my option number 4 then if i talk about they have given you know two questions two frequent questions on the same topic the next question as well that is from your bio molecule section from your peptides where you study about the different types of amino acids and all So again, the question number. Well, about this question, well, I'll say that when they have given you the question number eighteen, they were talking about the basic concepts of biomolecules that you would have done easily. But if I talk about in next question, in this question, the examiner he has tried to reach a little bit of the depth of your topic. So for this one, I'll say a good or a hard question that they have made up out of this topic because generally we don't expect that. we expect the cramming part out of our bio molecules right so for this one well the answer that would be the correct option for question number 19 that is my option number c then if i talk about the question number 20 well i have the question from a hydrogen topic and that two in hydrogen if i talk that is from your the concept of hard and soft water so i know not not a pretty difficult part we read this one so even into our ncrts the basic you know when we study about the topic we do this question and the reactions as well so for this one the op the correct option for your question number 20 that would be my option number 2 well you know even you would be feeling the option 2 is pretty favorite of examiner this time right Then, if I talk about the question number twenty-one, a question they have taken up from your coordination, and that too in coordination they have tried to take up the question from your isomerism section, and the concept-based question I'll say not much into the you know you don't need to go much into the depth of the theory and don't need to know much about it. So theoretical-based question I'll say, and the correct option for your question number twenty-one that would be my option number one. then if i take up the next question into your exam okay question number 22 well the question even you would see that and even i am seeing it a really direct question from organic generally we don't expect that we don't expect the examiner to give us easy questions from the organic right well of course we know that so the hydrocarbons chapter the examiner has taken up your question and a really really direct question you know that comes up into your the initial beginning phase where we talk about the basic reactions so the correct option for your question number 22 would be second and as i said answer 2 is pretty favorite from the chemistry part this time so many questions option 2 is correct Then, if I talk about the next question, that is my question number twenty-three. Well, this is a good question, I'll say. They have taken up the question from your well, the main topic. If I say that was from your some basic concepts of chemistry, and into that, even if I say that was based on your stoichiometry that you study, right? So, for this one, the correct option that I have seen, well, the correct option that goes according to me, that would be my third option. So for question number twenty three, the correct option is third. Then your question number twenty four, again a question from your alcohol chapter, a really good question I'll say. You know because 
if I want to do this question, I should have a deep knowledge about the concept. Because if I don't have it, if I talk about just the superficial knowledge, I won't be able to do this one. So for question number 24, the correct option, that is your option number 2. All right. Then if I talk about the question number 25, well, now there, there are so many questions from your organic section, like as we have seen the past four or five there from organic. Again, a question from your organic chemistry that is from your hello alkanes. Again, I will say because we know this thing. Generally, when we are talking about organic, we always see the tough questions, right? And that was the only easy one that I was saying in the beginning. So the only good question, I'll say the easy question that we have seen into our organic. And if I talk about your question number 25, the correct option for this question, that would be my option number C or option three, one and the same thing, right? Then your question number 26. Well, I will say a really, really good question. Well, a good question in terms of if I'm talking about the hard level and if I talk about you, then it is a bad question because obviously this is a hard question. So you won't like this one pretty much. Even I won't like it. Okay. So this was, I'll say, a really tough question into your examination. And the question that they have taken up, that was from your equilibrium section. And even as I, I was saying in the beginning that, you know, equilibrium, that has even you would have seen that they have covered up around four to five questions. So equilibrium, that seems to be the favorite part this time. So for question number 26, the correct option, that is your option number four. Then coming up to a question number 27. Well, the question they have taken off from your hello arenes. And we just discussed the question from your hello alkanes as well. So I'll say that into your organic, they have not tried to cover up like each and every section. What the examiner he has done this time is once he has taken up a question from a unit, he has tried to give another question and, you know, not bothered much about going into other units and doing a more of a detailed question form for you. So again, a question from your hello Arenes. And as the question says, the answer that fits according to me, that would be my option number C. Well, that's a three and my handwriting is pretty bad, I know. So this is your option number three. Then if I talk about your question number 28, a simple formula based question, I'll say. But again, the question that is from your equilibrium section. This time and again from the ionic equilibrium. By now, I have seen three equilibrium and that too from the ionic part. So for your question number 28, well, as per the calculations that I have done, the answer that fits is option number two. Coming to your question number 29, the only question from the kinetic section that they have given to you, but I'll say a good question. You know, a question that would take up your knowledge about the whole of kinetics that you have studied. And that too, even uh, as, I, as, I, as I was going through the question, I saw it was a little bit of mixture of kinetics with a solution chapter. They've tried to mix that up. So for this one, the correct option, that would be your option number four. Now the last question of your chemistry section, that is a question from your solution chapter and they have given a really basic question that if you talk about, if you have done the basic concepts properly, you would have been able to do this question really easily. Then if I look up the question, as I said, this is from your solutions part and the correct option for this one, that would be my option number four. So this was all about the chemistry part that we have seen. And if I talk in terms of the analysis that the examiner has gone by now. So as I said in the beginning, the maximum portion, they have taken up your physical chemistry this time. And you know, another good thing that we have seen is both the sections, your 11th class as well as your 12th, they have taken...